I mean, so for the Clippers and the Wolves, I'm glad the Wolves are back. Well, they're not even even really in the playoffs, right? But the last time they were here was when they had Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. They still had uh, Towns. They had Andrew Wiggins. But I don't know, man. Like the and the the Wolves are actually fl- favored in this game. I can't really understand why. Like I I really like the way the Clippers have been playing. Paul George just back. You know, Kawhi is not playing in this game. But if they advance, there's just like this kind of looming shadow mysterious figure on is he just going to suit up one day and then be like all right i'm fine i'm I'm back for the playoffs and then it changes the dynamic of that team completely if you add Kawhi leonard but i don't know the clippers just have a lot of guys and it's typically not a team i like you know i'm not the biggest fan of paul george but he's certainly great at at basketball you know you can't take that away from him um reggie jackson we talked about last week i've always liked his game former piston obviously and they have guys like norm powell and you know uh like robert covington and there's there's just a collection of guys that the clippers can throw at you that i think really makes it tough and they are more experienced than this timberwolves team is i know the wolves have been better this year but i think the clippers have just dealt with some other things you know they had stretches where both uh Kawhi and paul george were hurt and i think they have the uh i they think they have the coaching advantage as well i think ty lu's done a really good job with this clippers team this year wait a minute wait hang on wait, wait, wait. you're telling me an la team can be missing two of its best players for a long stretch of the season and still make the playoffs well, one of them. One out of two. <laughs> Half isn't bad. No, I, I'm with you on, uh, you know, the why is everyone behind Minnesota, you know, and I went looking to find out, you know, why everyone's behind Minnesota. I mean, and a lot of it has to do, you know, with the way Carl Anthony Towns has, has played and led this team this year. Uh, but against the Clippers, that's not the case. He averages 15 a game this season against the Clippers, shooting just 42% from the field. Those are huge drop-offs for what Carl Anthony Towns has done this year. So, and, you know, the Clippers, they won three out of four against them. The three they won, like, apparently they were all in November, so it's like, how can you really take from that? But, yeah. you know, the Clippers, like you said, they still made the postseason without Paul George for most of that run, without Kawhi Leonard for all of the run. And now Paul George is back, and he's playing at MVP-level basketball, which is what he was doing before he got hurt offensively defensively that man is involved in the team and when he was away it was time for guys like Reggie Jackson or uh with uh, Terrence Mann to step up in his you know in his absence and you got some more run for these other guys who are now used to playing pressure minutes and used to being at the end of the basketball game and so now you add Paul George back into that I agree with you I think the Clippers yeah. should be favored in this one and I think even just moving forward, um, you know, if the Clippers end up making it out of this on Thursday, we're going to do some like playoff playoff picks. Um, I, I, the Clippers could be a, a, a dark horse, man, depending obviously on what happens with Kawhi. But there's that's a, that's a scary team. That's a team who, you know, if I'm the seven, I don't want them to win. And if I'm the one, I'm like, oh, please win this game. Like I, I, I want to avoid the Clippers in the first round if at all possible. 